so from Zoe's Real Thoughts, it's been quite the summer. So I am sorry for being MIA. I think, honestly, I know I've only been gone for two months. And that seems like not that long. But to me, it felt like an eternity. First of all, before I get into my life update, if you really want to know what's going on in my day-to-day -day life, and just feel free to follow my Instagram, and I will link it down below. Also, I finally, finally, finally got a letterboxed. Um, it's a website that tracks all the, the movies that you've watched forever and you can put your reviews in there and just I, I like to keep it as my film diary so I finally got it I've been tracking my film activity publicly so you can watch you can see all the trash cinema I've been watching <laughs> there um which I will also link down below so you can keep up with me the most with those two and then of course there's twitter there's facebook which I I'm constantly posting articles to keep y'all updated on all the film news that are coming out daily and especially the most important ones because, you know, there's so much information out there. I, I got to really filter down what is actually very important. Um, so, yeah, those are the main things. Find me there. I'm always on on I'm always on uh, I'm always watching stuff even if I'm not posting reviews and um, trailer reactions and all this other stuff I'm I'm constantly in the know uh, okay yeah it's been quite a summer I think the last substantial thing I posted was my Okja review where I went to the new bed to see Tarantino and Bong Joon-ho do a Q&A. That was a really great uh, film and Q&A and video. So definitely check that out. After that, I, I moved to a new place. This is my new setup. Um, and then I miraculously got this production job that I'm really thankful. Um, I can't really talk about it in too much in detail because it was, I signed something obviously, but it wasn't like a real production set where we're filming, but it was a live event performance, which was that much more stressful. But we were working insane 12 hour jobs. I honestly had like a mental breakdown because I was currently working three jobs at that time. Plus, you know, on top of that 12 hour day uh, production job and things were very chaotic. I felt like I was like, oh shit, the, like I, I, I legit felt like I was gonna, I was like about to have a panic attack like every single day. So definitely had to step away from doing film reviews even though I had so many videos already set up that I just needed to like put out um things I actually need to edit but those will be coming even though I filmed it so long ago I think it'll still be very enjoyable for you to watch so I will put them up regardless and so because of that job and because like I just needed it an emotional break I was like I'm gonna take this time off and then other produ production jobs came up which I'm really thankful because I'm trying out this whole freelance work because as you know YouTube isn't my source of income for sure I think I made my channel niche enough that it doesn't become like this huge thing where I get a bunch of money like no I do this strictly because I love it and I want to talk to people about specific films that I love and what I've been watching and you know yeah so um I am gonna I love I love making videos so I am gonna try to do it more often uh while trying to find like random jobs here and there and all that good stuff so there was that. Another exciting news, which I'm probably going to be MIA till maybe October because, you know, Beyond Fest is coming and Halloween is coming and I got to talk about horror films and all that other 
things. Um, I am making a short film. I try to make a short film, at least one, every year. Uh, at the end of July, I did make a short, short, short film that I kind of just went out like no plans like usual. <laughs> um, shot with my friend Christine, which I will premiere most likely, maybe on this site too. I will put it both on YouTube and my Vimeo um, channel. It is almost like a continuation of my Blue Paradise short that I made uh, last year. And we just kind of made this randomly one night and I, we just thought it was it was like, like a good, it was a good practice run and exercise and just like getting the creative juices flowing. So I really love that. I am going to try to premiere it early October. Uh, so stay tuned. So this new short film that I'm shooting, I've been thinking about it for like two, three years. Um, it's set at a rave. And I was actually going to go to a real rave and shoot it like, you know, cinema verte style, like gorilla, like I always do. Um, but I was like, okay, how about we try to do this like better and bigger than that? So I've decided to self-fund it, even though <laughs> I basically don't have money. That's the dream, right? You're just self-funding everything. Um, so we're self. I'm self-funding this project called In Bloom. It's about the aftermath of a friend's disappearance and how she kind of has to deal with the struggles and consequences of um, leaving her friend behind. Uh, so it's kind of this very dramatic story about trauma, regret, and guilt. Um, I've been working on the script for so long and it just didn't feel right, didn't feel right. And then I was like, fuck it, let's just make it. Because honestly, at this point, it's better it done than it being perfect. Like that's like my motto, uh, just get it done, just get it done. Uh, and so that's what's happening. But I finally got an ending that I, I feel okay with. So I'm really excited to film it. It is happening September 17th and 18th. So if you want to follow me on my Insta stories, I will track everything there. It is kind of nerve wracking and like anxiety inducing thinking about how many things that need to be done, especially because we're not going to go to actual rave. We're going to make a rave. Uh, so it is exciting, but it's also, oh my God, I can't even think about it right now. Um, yeah, I always say filmmaking is getting beaten and pummeled to the ground forever. Like that's the feeling, but you do it because you love it. It's very like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> keep up with the updates of my short film there. I will try to keep you guys updated from the cast to the actual production to post-production, hoping, I'm gonna hope, I'm hoping to finish October uh, because I am also editing it myself, that stuff. And so yeah, I do have some videos that I still need to edit that I want to release because I filmed it so long ago. And also please feel free to give me suggestions on future videos. I know a lot of people want like trailer reactions to superhero stuff. like. I don't do superhero stuff unless it's like very specific and I like really, really, really want to see it because, hey, I feel like there's other people who know about it so much more than I do and I'm gonna I'm leave that to the pros. For here, we're gonna talk about independent fucking badass cinema where, you know, you can't find everywhere but it's so awesome oh my god I and you know okay so in because I didn't do a June July August film favorites I am gonna do a summer film favorites for y'all um that's gonna be a really really exciting one because if you look at my letterbox now I watched a Okay, I was so excited for June film favorites because I watched so many goddamn films that month I was really proud of myself. 
and I, yeah, I loved it. Um, so many films to talk about with you. And I've been discovering new, new platforms where I've been, where I could watch uh, films for free. I've been really into, I am going to do a video on this, but I did get a free trial for Filmstruck, the uh, platform where you can stream Criterion films. And then I found out about Canopy. Canopy, yes. Um, I don't know if it's like statewide, but for you for California residents, at least I know for LA, if you have a library card, you can watch free movies and have unlimited access to most of the criterion. So sometimes I've been watching films there. It's been awesome. There's so many great uh, streaming sites now that that caters to your taste. Uh, so that's very exciting. So Filmstruck, Canopy, I've been watching those what else i you know i know people are really into tv shows right now sadly sadly i am not on the game of thrones train i'm not um i probably should eventually but i i feel like i have so many other films to watch you know and for sure i will get around to that I'm most excited about the the new Mr. Robot teaser. There's a lot of things happening. So, so yeah, those are so exciting. So exciting. Um, what else? How are you guys doing? How was your summer? I know it's been kind of hectic with this heat wave. I just got back from Mexico too. I went to Tulum to have like a little vacay. That was awesome. Uh, and then I've been, I, you know, I kind of miss going to premieres and screenings and all this other stuff. And, um, if you guys didn't know, if you're in the LA area, my favorite, favorite, favorite home, aka Cine Family, got kind of caught up with this, um, with like a sexual assault, uh, lawsuit and it's kind of like, they're not in a good place right now so they really had to shut down which I was like oh my god please please do that for yourself and recover and try to like salvage this place um other than that I'm always just thinking god I can't wait to make my own theater or have my own theater in LA seriously this is the end goal to have my own movie theater in LA specifically Koreatown after I make my two feature films um, so that is still pending. Um, I'm saying this now because I'm putting it out there. It is for sure. Like I, my whole life goal was to basically watch movies for free, which I am kind of doing now, but it's getting like, it doesn't matter if it's free. It's just like, is it worth your time? And some really are. I'm so excited to talk about those that are really, really are. But others, I'm just like, not, let's not even talk about the other films. I eventually, yes, I eventually want to have my own movie theater. I I did say that I wanted my own video store, but technically nowadays it's kind of like, why? Even though my DVD collection is, I had to cut it in half. After I moved, I was like, I don't need this. So I, I donated half of it to the... Um, P.O. Pico Library in K-Town. So if you go there, you have, probably have a really good selection of DVDs. And eventually, I've been saving those DVDs. So eventually, when I had my own video or DVD store in my movie theater, it would all come together. But you know what? I will just buy those back when that time comes. So that is that is the dream. Yep can't wait to make it happen because there are so many films that are so great that aren't being shown in theaters because they're not like profitable but it's like those are the best films uh but we'll get there when we get there uh yeah life's great i'm besides making my short film which is kind of like i'm it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I'm gonna get there and then we're gonna make shit happen. 
Let me know how you guys are doing, what films you've been watching, what you're really excited about. If you have a letterbox or whatnot, um, feel free to let me know about anything, any films this summer that you loved. If I had to talk about one film this summer that came out that I absolutely loved, which will also be my film favorite, it's this film, this Korean film called The Villainous. You have to watch it. It's insane. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye!